Hey y'all, I'm Steve from Avenger RV Adventure. Today I want to talk to you about the tire management system from TST. Alright folks, so welcome back. So I ordered from Techno RV the TST tire management system for my RV. This particular kit comes with four sensors. It has a color mount monitor. And the nice thing about this is that uh, this system does have a battery. So you can charge it and use it with it not being plugged in. So let's go ahead and get into what we got here. So this being the color monitor. There's four sensors. And I'm going to try not to drop everything. So you do get a mount for your windshield. You do get a mount for your dash. The accessories along with the wrenches, plugs and stuff. And then you also get a remote extender. So, I pretty much live on a, on a budget, so I can't afford to do all four of my RV tires, the RV spare, and the four tires on my, tr my truck also. So for right now, this is a start. So to try and make things a little easier, I went ahead and I, I came inside. Okay, so before you go messing with the tire pressure monitor, you're gonna want to look up the specs for your individual tire. So for my tires, which are uh, ST225, S, uh, I'm sorry, 75R15, then I'm gonna need to have 65 PSI in my tires. So that's something you're gonna need to know before you set this up. All right, so let's go to the instructions. So the instructions say that it's defaulted in PSI instead of BAR. It's defaulted for Fahrenheit over Celsius. If that's something that affects you, you can go in and change that. The high temperature alarm is set to 158 degrees. Your manufacturer may want you to have something higher or may want you to have something lower. Here's the meat and potatoes. So your low pressure alarm. So let's go ahead and turn this on. All right. To set the low pressure alarm, press and hold the set button until it beeps. Press the plus once and low pressure setting will appear. Which, if you can see that on there or not, but it is flashing down here. Uh, let's see, press and release the set. So we'll press that. Press and release the go. So that's this button. Uh, to get to the appropriate axle. Okay, so not doing the truck. We're doing the tires in the back or the trailer. All right. Press the plus or minus to adjust the low pressure alarm. 10% below the normal tire pressure for that axle. So it's defaulted to 100. So I'm going to run this down to 59 degrees or 59 PSI. Um, all right. 
So that should be it. Okay, our next step is to set the high pressure setting. So we're gonna press the set button until it beeps. Okay, and it already says high pressure on here. So then we're gonna press the set button again. And we're gonna press the go button until we get to the right axles. All right. So then we're going to do the plus or minus to adjust the high pressure alarm. So my tires would normally be 65. 25% over that would be 16. So it would be 75, 81 degrees. 81 PSI. Okay, we're going to press the set button again to save that. All right, so the next part you have to do uh, at the tire, or at least with the sensors, so you know which one is which, and we'll go from that point on. Okay, our next step is gonna to be to set up each of the individual sensors so that it reads on here. So we're gonna go ahead and push the set and hold it. We're going to push the plus sign until we see learn ID, which is here. That's set. Now you have to set which tire you're going to be setting up for each individual sensor. So you might be able to see that it's flashing here. I'm gonna change that. Okay, so I have my front tire on the driver's side of the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push set again. It's gonna go into a learning mode. I have the sensor here. I'm gonna push go and it's already measured. Or it's already sensed the, the sensor there. So I'm going to push set and that tire is done. You're gonna push go. It'll ask you for, and there's your numbers for this sensor. Push the set button again. And I've gone through and set up all four of mine. And the way I know which ones are which, because as I took them out, I put them on here. So I know which one to put where. So let's go ahead and exit, exit back out. Now, obviously it's telling me that there's low pressure because it's not hooked to anything. So let's go out and hook them up to the vehicle. Okay, so let's look at how we go ahead and apply these to uh, to our rig. So first thing you need to do is remove the valve stem cap. Then they provide you with these uh, little nuts. You're gonna wanna thread that on completely until it stops. So I have my driver's side rear sensor here. You're gonna wanna thread that on. Until it stops and then you're going to back that nut back up to it until you can't do it with your finger anymore then you're going to use the wrench and you're going to tighten it on edge like that all right folks so we got everything all hooked up everything's looking good on here 
Uh, one of the things that I do like about this unit is that it is uh, battery powered. You can plug it in or you can leave it uh, running via battery. So it's one less cable that you have hooked up and running on across your dash. Um, the other nice thing about this is that you can have multiple trucks and you can have multiple trailers and use this same system. You just have to have the extra sensors for the extra truck or the extra trailer. Um, we'll see how it works out and uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, I did get it from Techno RV. Techno RV has a, a lot of good stuff for RVers. That's uh, pretty much all they take care of. So uh, they're nice folks there and I can't recommend them enough you know, to anybody else. Uh, so this is the TST tire management system and it was uh, over $300 just for this and the four sensors. Uh, down the road I'll see about getting more sensors. So we'll go that way. If you're just starting out and you can't swing one of these, which is totally understandable because buying stuff for an RV can be very expensive, invest in a laser temperature gauge. You can use this and shoot the tire, the wheel, and the axle. Write it down each time you stop for each tire, wheel, and axle. And if you start developing an issue, you will see it in those numbers. This is what I used until now. Uh, and I can't recommend this enough. These things are like 10 or 20 bucks at the hardware store. And they're worth their weight in gold to shoot your tires and your wheels and whatnot uh, and the axle to see if you do have an issue. All right, so I'll give you an update down the road. For now, I'm Steve from Avenger RV Adventure, and I will see you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for upcoming videos. Take care, everyone.